Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Hit Chat Chit Chat. I am your co-host, Connor Reynolds. Uh, today, going to be a little different of a podcast. So right now, we do not have Mr. Burns. Uh, it's been a crazy last couple of weeks for both of us. Uh, I've traveled from Arizona to Michigan, going to be going to Washington here in a little bit. I've uh, been gone for kind of a couple of weeks at a time. Uh, Mr. Burns, uh, same kind of thing with practices, different things like that. So schedules have been tough to a little bit to line up last few weeks. Uh, my scheduling is coming down a little bit. Uh, and so we do have a, uh, episode here for you today. It's going to be an interview that I have, uh, with somebody, uh, from Twitter, uh, great listen, another great follow, uh, as well. I know it's been a little bit since we've had, uh, some interviews and different things like that. So really excited to kind of get back into that space. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit of a shorter one, uh, but that's all right. Um, do want to do a little PSA uh, for anybody out there that's listening or, or watching. Uh, on the screen right here, I have my Twitter and my Instagram as well, uh, driveline underscore RBI. Uh, we're going to be having some really big announcements coming up here in the next uh, month or so. And so most definitely, if you want to be up to date on anything when it comes to just like my general uh, professional career, uh, tune into these guys. Uh, we have some really cool stuff that we're going to be launching here in the next few, uh, month or so, uh, next few weeks. So make sure if you're not already, uh, definitely go follow over there. Uh, and then as well, if you are listening on Spotify or Apple music, also know that I do have a YouTube, uh, where I do breakdowns and different things like that when it comes to just general baseball IQ, uh, different things like that, swings, whatnot this is also where we post some of the the podcasts uh so if you're on spotify or apple music and you're listening there make sure to go over to youtube uh and come over join uh the family the subscribers we're at 194 right now with uh a th- 1.6 thousand videos so would definitely uh, like to see that go up a little bit more uh the videos that i'm discussing about when i'm talking about iq and different things like that i also am posting to my instagram and my twitter so uh, definitely go check those out as well. Uh, and then if you're just watching on YouTube, go listen on Spotify or Apple Music. Uh, we do upload the video versions to Spotify. Uh, Apple Music does not support that, but video versions on YouTube and Spotify uh, audio just on Apple Music. Thank you guys for tuning in. And here we're about to get into an interview. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Hit Chat Chit Chat, where we're going to have a little uh, interview, uh, a little back and forth here. Uh, I have Victor Martinez that I met on uh, Twitter, which if you go to it, it's How to Hell, uh, which uh, I don't know if I exactly pronounced that correctly, but I do have it spelled correctly uh, up on there and it will be in the bio below. Victor, uh, thank you for joining us, man. Sure, man. I'm excited to be here. So mostly came across... uh, you from a post I was uh, talking about Stuff Plus uh, and where starters were at year uh, last year to comparative to this year. The thing that stuck out to me most is I actually went to opening day. Uh, I'm from Colorado. I was in Arizona this past weekend. Uh, the Diamondbacks played the Rockies for opening day, and I saw how much of a difference Kyle Freeland had on his. And uh, first off, I, I opened it up. I was like, damn, this is a good tweet. Uh, and then you always have the question of like how accurate or, uh, how, uh, up to date is the information? Where are they pulling this information? And so I clicked onto your profile and I had zero people that we with either their a following you in common or B you were following in common. So essentially like I'd never, not a single person I knew of had seen any of your stuff before. So I started scrolling and it looked like good shits. I think I saw that you hopped on. Let's see. You got onto Twitter, or at least this account uh, got onto Twitter in 2020, uh, too. So, like, been around for a couple of years, and I just, like, went through and I saw you were famous or or more followed by, like, Yankee Twitter. And so I just want to learn more about, like, one, who the hell are you? Two, where did you get that data? Uh, And three, why are you posting that data? Like, what is the, what's the purpose of it for you? Sure. So I'll just start with my backstory. I mean, I, I've been on Twitter for a little bit longer than 2022. I, I really started like early 2021. I hopped on Yankee Twitter. I had an old account. I got suspended. But um, yeah, this is my new account. I've been on it for a while. And so um, in terms of like data and stuff, 
I've always been into like posting analytics and numbers. I've always been a big like math guy. I've always loved that kind of stuff. I'm big like fan graphs, baseball savant kind of guy. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I I've always just loved posting stats, and I'm glad people like seeing it. Hell yeah, man! So like, where where exactly did you get that stuff? Plus, day was that a fan graphs deal? Baseball fan, yeah, fan graphs. Okay, so what like? How old are you? If you don't mind me asking. Uh, I'm 18 years old. I just turned 18 in February. Yeah. So is like, are you in school right now? Like, are, are you yeah. looking to get like a pro job? Like, are we just a writer? Like what, like what's the point yeah, of the Twitter? Uh, I'm a senior in high school right now. I mean, the, the eventual goal would be to work in baseball as a writer, as a, as an analytics guy, as a, I mean, uh, I know a lot of the analytics guys now like have to like know how to like code and stuff, which is like, uh, I'm not a big coder to be honest, but I mean, I I'd love to work in that space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Did you like play yourself or like yeah. uh, just a fan? Like kind of like what's was playing career like for Mr. Uh, Martinez? Yeah, you know, I mean, I I always played baseball growing up. I played since I was like five years old. I mean, the, you know, honestly, the reason why I got into Twitter in the first place. It's because during my freshman year of uh, of high school, I, I tore my my labrum in my shoulder, and so like I, I couldn't play the entire season. I had just a shit ton of free time that I had never had before. So I just hopped on there, started interacting with people, gained a few followers, and it's just it's just blown up from there. Dude, that's awesome! Like I think I've seen at least from the when the you posted the stuff plus tweet. I think I've when I kind of like glancely like notice. You up like 300 followers, 400 followers? Yeah. Dude, it's so crazy because, I mean, you know, um, the, the guy who created Stuff Plus, you, you know, Saurus, you know who that is? Mm -hmm. He actually retweeted that tweet. I guess, like, a, a, a lot of guys, like, like really trust his word. And so I guess they clicked on my account and followed me from that. So shout out to Eno for the retweet. Dude, that is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I want to say, like, your your range uh, of what you have been tweeting it, it's vast like it's not like you're just going through and nothing against those who just like focus on like one specific kind of category whether it's pitching defense base running whatever it is you're posting like a wide range of shit and like i i told you in the deal dude, it's good shit bro like you're writing the the uh article that you sent me over not too long ago like Originally, when I was going through, I was reading it. I thought it was going to be like, uh, you, you threw something. Oh, what was it at the very top? It was a controversial thing. I think you talked about like a fight or something like that with one of the first people. Oh, yeah. I was talking about Lucas Giolito and Josh Donaldson. He said that, um, like, G he had a home raw off him and he said, like, it wasn't sticky anymore, like, some, like, sticky substances. And I said, I like segued that into how, like, his spin rates have gone down and how his IVB has decreased and stuff. Dude, like that was that was awesome, and it's something that I feel like possibly not a lot of like, like the approach that you took it. I don't feel like a lot of reporters or writers would necessarily like branch it off from there. Like, you are having, I guess, like a easy, easy digestible content where it's like what's something that I would want to read, rather than like it's not like. You're making data fun is, I guess, where I'm trying to, like, get at it. Like, you're making it to where the common person would want to read something like that and then continue reading because you threw together, like, really good shit. You're making it to where it's understandable and digestible and applicable to the game. It's not like you're just pulling random-ass stats that no one's ever heard of and just, like, trying to get it to stick. So, like, I think that's awesome. When and, like, where did you start wanting to go down into this more of, like, deep data analytical dives rather than just like shooting off some tweets yeah you know i mean as long as i've had twitter i've always been a big analytics guy but even growing up i've always been a big math guy i was a big numbers guy i have to like really like look at data and like see like exactly what is happening and i think like baseball especially is like the, the sport that is like is that the most like football like you have analytics like soccer is like not really analytics like like baseball, you have so much like especially public information. I think it it trumps every other sport by far, by far. And so like, I mean, yeah, I've always been a big math guy. And so when I discover like fan graphs, baseball savant, I mean, 
just opened up an entire like Pandora's box for me of like, oh my God, this is what I've been looking for my entire life, you know? What, like, when did that happen? Like, when did you pick up and start going into Fangrass? Was it like 2020 when you like picked up this account? Was it a couple of years prior to, uh, to that? Like, at what point did you? You know, I, it was probably around the pandemic because, I mean, you know, before that, I mean, obviously I've seen all, like all the jokes about like all these like stat nerds and stat geeks, like, oh, you, oh, WRC, a billion letters, stats, whatever. And then, and then I, I would actually like, look it up. And I was like, oh, this is actually kind of interesting. Like maybe, maybe people should pay more attention to this. Like this is, this is good stuff right here. So, I mean, uh, I know those jokes still exist and people still like shit trash on stat nerds, but uh, I like it. So. Dude, that's awesome. And so for you, like, do you have uh, any, like, put together plans for next year that, you know, it's like, hey, you know, I'm going to this school for writing. Is it something where, like, you're not sure yet? What are, like, future plans for uh, Victor? Yeah, future plans for me. I mean, uh, I'm going to college next year, obviously. I'm not totally committed to where I'm going yet, but I'm planning to major in journalism, minoring in statistics. Um, I'm hoping to get like an internship in the sports field somewhere, hoping to be a writer somewhere. I mean, obviously I know that the sports field is very competitive. I know I have to be a really a, a go-getter to, to really be in this industry, but I think I can do it and I'm excited to, for what the future holds for me. Um, are you utilizing any like chat GBT? Are you utilizing any like outside sources you had mentioned about the coding and possibly not there? Uh, at the current moment, but like, are you using any other external factors at the current moment? Or are we just like typing in fan graphs, going to it manually, like scrolling through and then, you know, copy paste, put it together in like a Google doc or something like that. Like, what does your process look like when putting something together? It, that's pretty much it. Honestly, like I, I really just like click on fan graphs, leaderboards. I mean, sometimes I'll do like a baseball savant search, like see all the data and then they they have a tool where you can export it to like a Google Excel sheet. And then I'll just I'll fill it in there and then just kind of make make it look pretty. And then I'll I'll tweet it. And then that's that's pretty much my my process there. I gotcha. And where are you going through to find the videos? Are you going to like the MLB uh, like Video Vault or like how are you getting access yeah. to those videos? Yeah, MLB Video Vault is great. Baseball Savant also has great videos. Yeah. So yeah, the the video access is also great for MLB. I gotcha. What are foreseeable like next couple week steps so we're getting in a new following so like what are you looking to utilize this new like audience what is the plan is it to keep rocking what we've been rocking are you looking to throw out any more articles like what's what are next few steps yeah you know i mean last year honestly it was not this much stat heavy like this year really like dug into it like last year i would like uh, I was still tweeting a lot, but it wasn't it wasn't like super stat heavy. It was like I would like tweet about the Yankees and say like, "Oh my God, how did they not score runs here?" Or like just like your casual Twitter, you're like freaking out about everything. But you see, I'm trying to be like a little bit more professional because you know I have goals now. I know what I want to do. I think that this account now that that's especially growing followers now. I have people that like you that that are really like watching and listening to me. And I can see what I'm doing and, and, and who can help me get into the industry I want to work in. And so I think that being more professional and keeping more of like a reserved tone and and instead of just like freaking out about everything is really going to benefit me in the long run. I think putting yourself in a position where, like I said, the wide range of what you've shown to be able to bring information to in a tweet where it's not just one specific area, it's not just one specific team. I think like I, I've noticed there's been possibly a few more Yankee posts than some others, and that's totally fine. It's one of those where like, you know, as long as you are able to showcase one that you know how to find this information, you know what this information is, and you know how to put it into a di digestible piece of, uh, of writing, that's I think the biggest points. And if it is something where it's like most of the time one specific team, I think that's okay. If it's most of the time one specific category, but vast majority of teams, I think that's okay. But I think you're doing a great job of showcasing a, a wide range of knowledge in the sport. Um, I would say, like, the more that you're able to keep rocking what you're rocking, I think the better. Uh, the more that you're able to just stay consistent, that's going to be the biggest thing that's going to help you stay, one, 
uh, in the trending kind of category of uh, how many did that one tweet that was that would you say that's like your like biggest tweet that you've put out before? No, I mean, uh, you know, honestly, a, a couple of weeks ago, I put out a, a Bo Jackson tweet that I got like 20,000 likes. It wasn't a stat tweet, but I mean, it, it, if, if you look it up on Twitter right now, it has, I think, 20,000 likes. And, and you can see like everyone in the comments is like fuming because everyone loves Bo Jackson. And I, I, I kind of like shit, shit on him a little bit because I was like, you know, Bo, Bo Jackson is one of those players where you're better off just like reading his stories and actually like, looking up his stats. You know, for, for his era, he did kind of strike out a lot. And, but I mean, yeah, so I, I, I kind of got cooked on that tweet, but it, that's definitely my, my most popular one. Okay. What would you say has been the one that's given you the most amount of, uh, like followers to come back from? Followers is definitely the stuff plus. The stuff plus tweet. So I would say, like, Honestly, I was trying to scroll through and see if I could find that Bo Jackson tweet, but you're doing such a great job of putting so much shit out. Uh, like, I, it took me a while to scroll, and I only got to, like, four or five days ago. So I'm not going to sit here and, like, scroll all the way through to get to the Bo Jackson tweet. One, I think that's hilarious. Uh, like, obviously love Bo, um, but also, like, anything that can, like, sometimes just, like, piss off just enough people. Like, that's not a bad thing to do to get, like, noticed but, like, I think the stuff plus stuff, like you mentioned, is, like, where you get, like, the follows, right? Because uh, those are the people that are, like, I want to see what more this dude's going to be able to bring. And I'll be honest with you, I think you're doing a, a pretty good job of it. How many other articles have you been putting out that are similar to the one that you originally sent me? Well, yeah, I mean, dude, um, one of my big goals for this year is to write more articles. I've only written, like, I, I wrote, I think, three last year. I wrote, like, a deadline article. I wrote one about... um minor league pitcher for the Yankees about how he's kind of like underrated um how's he doing now uh he, he's doing fine he, he didn't make the team out of spring but uh you know will 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 Warren sorry yeah will, will Warren yeah so he didn't make the team out of spring but was your paper like would you say looking back now from when you wrote it previously to where it's at now would you say that you were like accurate with your project uh predictions uh for, for the three pitchers or yeah yeah, three pitchers. Well, I think Sean Mania is probably going to be my most successful one. I know, I know he went to drive over the offseason, right? I believe so. So, um, yeah, he, he's been doing pretty. I think he, he had a pretty good debut with the Mets the other day. So I think that's going to be my most successful one. Obviously, Giolito's out for the year the, with the shoulder surgery. I mean, Paxton, Paxton, I think his, his velocity was down in his first outing. I think he, he didn't give any runs, but his velocity was down. I, I was high on him last year, especially because. His first healthy season in like three years, I was like, okay, this guy was sitting 98 earlier in the year. His velo kind of decreased as the year went on. Like this guy, if he's healthy, he could be like you're like behind Garrett Cole, starting game two of the playoffs in the ALDS for me. Like that was my idea. Gotcha. So you wrote three last year. What's the current goal that you said you're going to have for yourself this year? This year, I I, I want to expand my horizons like last year i was focused more on like yankee stuff this year i want to really cover the entirety of mlb whether that be stuff plus whether that be highlighting a player that maybe doesn't get enough or enough recognition like making more like video form content like doing more podcasts like this like i was thinking of starting my own podcast with more guest appearances maybe i don't know i'm not that gifted of a speaker but i think i think i could i could bring some knowledge to the table there I'll tell you what, dude, anytime you ever want to come up on here and uh, do a little hit chat, shit chat, I know, I know, uh, feel free, bro. Like, would love to have you on. Uh, if there's any time, like, uh, maybe it's like a once a month thing or maybe it's like a little spot here or there where it's like kind of like highlighting some of the hitters that you're like really either A, like excited about. Maybe it's some hitters that you are uh, thinking need to make some adjustments moving forward, like whatever it is, like would not would not be opposed to having you on here a little bit more uh feel free to to think on that but um i think you're doing a great job dude uh, i think the content that you're putting out is absolutely incredible um i think you're doing a great job of the consistency and content i would say just keep rocking it and killing it thank you man I, I appreciate it so much is there anything that you would like to highlight or uh showcase for yourself uh kind of like a little plug I'm um, a little plug. I mean, obviously my Twitter, how to hell, you could follow me there. Um, 
I'm thinking about starting a journalism account soon, just like where I can put my, my writing stuff out there. Um, obviously, my, my name is Victor. A lot of people don't know that because um, I, I stay anonymous on Twitter. Obviously, now people are going to see my face if they watch this. Ho hopefully, I'm not too ugly. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, like I said, anytime you want to come on, uh, feel free to shoot me a little message. Uh, pump for you, dude. I, I want to see uh, you keep putting stuff out there, keep going ahead uh, and growing the game uh, and making it, like I said, the biggest thing that I loved is it feels digestible to the commonish person and a great introduction into what, like you said, like modern day analytics is and what it can look like in the behind the ground, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, so I, I think your writing's awesome uh, and the, the Twitter's pretty good too, brother. So keep killing it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it so much.